Hi, Wilbur. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine, fine, teacher. I'm doing. How was your day? Um, well, teacher, I have uh, very much uh, work. But, a lot uh, of work? Yeah, a lot of work, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I complete all my tasks. All my tasks. Task. All my tasks, uh huh. Okay. And teacher, sorry, uh, which is your email address for the send the, the tax from the task for the yesterday? Okay. I'm going to send it on the chat right now. Just okay, thank you. You're welcome. How long have you been receiving English classes, Wilbert? In this way, in through Zoom? Uh, no, no. No, it's the first first time. This is the first time? For uh, in this model, remotely. Uh-huh. It, it's my first time. And did you go to classes uh, to uh English Corporativo or did you go to classes any anywhere else? Uh, anywhere anywhere else. Mm -hmm. in, 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 in other Before. locations I have a uh, uh, English class in the in the in the, in the company installation. But, ah, okay. Yes, but With another the, provider. Yes, yes, exactly. But ah, okay. the, it was a uh, very very go late go. Uh, año, años anteriores. Ah, years ago, like a yes, couple of years ago. Uh huh. Yeah, years ago. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But uh, right now I am happy from the uh, with the is the course is the course uh -huh. because, with this course. Yes. I was I was telling the I was telling the other guys that I'm going to try to find out if you can take remotely and you can also take classes in your companies. For example, uh, the English uh, I'm sorry, English uh, insofar. Um, usually has teachers that can go to your facilities like to Digicel or to the different companies and teach for free with Insofor like this, English for el Trabajo. And they do it uh, two hours a day, Mondays to Fridays. The only thing that you need is to have a group of 20 students or 15 students depending yes. on the company. My idea is the more you guys are in contact with the language, the faster you're going to learn it. So it would be great if you guys could be in both modality in, online and also taking classes with someone face-to-face. -face. It would be awesome. Yeah, yes, teacher. For, for me, the online online classes is, uh, is, um, is an interesting experience for me. Experience, interesting experience. experience. For, me. Uh -huh. experience for me, yes. Mm -hmm. I think I learned, I learned uh, much, much. I have a lot. A lot, sorry. Mm -hmm. I okay. learned a lot, yes. Yes, teacher. I'm try, happy. try not to use much, okay? Always use a lot. Try to use a, a lot. lot instead of much. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, great. Do you have any questions? Where are you in the platform? Mm. Where are you? So we can do it together here. What num what letter, what number? Where are you? Today we're gonna be working on pending exercises or things that you just didn't get through. Like no, I complete all the all the exercise. All of them. Uh, yes, yeah, all. Uh, also I complete all the 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 the, the quiz, no. The final um, exam? Yeah, yeah, it's complete. Yes, final sample is complete. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, 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 I receive my, my final certificate. Certificate. Uh -huh, the certificate. What I was telling the other class, my other class, is that I need you to print it, like in a, like if you can get the paper of a diploma, you know that that type. I'm Opalina. I think it's the name of that type of paper, and print it. That way, you can have it as part of your attestados or part of your, you know, because it's important for you to have it and keep it as a diploma. Because if you print it in regular paper, 
it's not going to be the same that if you print it like in a diploma paper, okay? Try to get at least one and print it in, at a Ciber Cafe or if you have a printer at home or in your office. So you okay. have it and you keep it as part of your at the styles. Uh, okay, good. My suggestion, you, yeah, so you, you can keep it. Mm -hmm. It's very okay. important important okay. to have it, yes, okay? Yes, very important, yes. Bea, good evening. Guillermo, good evening. How are you guys? Maybe they're not. Hi, Bea. Good evening. Hi, Bea. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Great. I was hi. telling Hi, Guillermo. How are you? Fine, thanks. What about you? Great. Here. Today is our last class. I want to tell you a little bit of how it's going to work. Um, you're going to have one week of vacation, okay? But in throughout this week, your company has to send the papers to English Corporativo, so they enroll you in Intermediate 2, okay? okay. And then, so remind your, your employer or HR or learning and development department to fill out the paper, the uh, payroll, to give it, turn it in. That way you, you, you get enrolled as soon as possible. The idea of this is to start on March the 2nd. So we have one week of vacation and then we start another module on the 2nd of March, okay? So that's okay. the idea. It's como tentativo, it's not like, but it's supposed to be that way. Now, for that, you need two things. One, to complete the platform this week. By Sunday, the most that platform has to be completed for you to be able to be enrolled in Intermediate 2. And two, just push your employer, push, 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 push your employer to uh, send that documentation on time. Because remember that that documentation has to go to InsaForm and InsaForm somehow it's, long process sometimes they take more days than expected and the idea is for you to just continue your classes you know and not wait a lot of time in between okay so that's the idea okay um now i have questions i i'm going to be here but i want you to guys to be working on the platform today because today is just platform day whether exercises are still have an X that you were not able to have a check next to them. Um, also, if you have questions of exercises or answers that you were not able to, to, to work on or complete, let me know, okay? So I want you to be working on the platform. Uh, today, supposedly you should be working on the final exam. Um, Wilbur already finished. What about you, Bea and Guillermo? Where are you in the platform? Teacher, Where? Teacher, I am finished, uh, but I, I, I need help. Okay, in some uh, exercise. In, in, in one exercise. Uh, okay. In this which moment. Uh, <clears throat> Tell me which uh, one it is, so we can do it together. Okay, uh, in exam, intermediate exam. Ah, the midterm. Meter and sum, yes. Which part? Uh, a, B, C, D? D. Per D. Used to. Used to. Okay. Uh, number, number three. Okay, let's do it together. The idea is que no tengan ninguna X en todos sus ejercicios. So go back to the platform and tell me you need to have them all in checks, okay? Pero para que salgan de esa duda, for you not clarify any doubt that you might have. Okay, let's do it. Let's see. Um, complete the conversations, use the correct form of used to and the verbs given. Make sure you use correct capitalization when needed and, and an answer whatever it's not necessary. Did you used to play basketball when you were in high school? Um, did you play soccer when you were a child? Yes, I, I did play soccer every day after school. And what things did you collect? Did you collect? Wait. 
And I write, did you collect? Oh, I never collected. Oh, I never collected anything when I was a kid, but now I collect postcards. Let's check. Let's check. Maybe I have a mistake. Uh, See? Ah, I have them wrong. Why do you think I have wrong. them wrong? I'm wrong. No, I have the mistake. Why do you think I have a mistake? I only have one right. What's wrong here? Can you help me? Yes, sir. Uh, are you? Are you? Are you? No. Mm, because you have to use. You, Did you use them? Uh, did you use it to? Did you used to play soccer when you were a child? Let's see. Yes. Maybe use it. Used to. Yes, I used to. Use. Use to collect. Hmm, so I only have one right. What's. What do you guys think? Help me. Don't don't write the verb in pass. Where? Only person. Aha, uh -huh, very good. Why? Because I'm using did. Very good. Because I'm using did. Aha. Uh -huh. Use. Uh -huh. There you go. What about here? Same thing, right? If you use did, the next verb, it's going to be. Uh, because you're using the auxiliary did the verb the main verb will go in present but what mm -hmm. happens the tricky and this is why I'm, I'm doing it on purpose the tricky part here is this the the exercise is used to so you think your mind is thinking oh i all my sentences have to be used to and no you have to be careful because if you're using did then use will not uh, carry along the D. It's just going because D is already taking place of the past tense. So my next verb will always go in the present. Did you use, right? Did she use? Because you're using did. But here I still have a mistake. Why is it that I have a mistake here? Use it, use it too. Did you use to collect this wrong? And what things? You what? used to collect. Let's try that one. Use It's wrong. Mm -hmm. And what things did you did use? And what things you collected? What about that one? It's incorrect. Good evening. Now, good evening. Something I was explaining to the other class uh, prior to you guys, and this is something we found. The tool, unfortunately, sometimes it's not that you're making the mistake. It's that the tool has a couple of mistakes. For example, I was with the beginner's class, and we noticed that uh, sometimes uh, there was an exercise in where the exercise you had to use contractions, but there was one that you didn't have to use contraction. That's called a glitch como un error de la plataforma. There was another exercise that it was asking you to use ING. Uh, she's wearing a suit, she's wearing a tie, he's wearing a tie, I'm sorry. But there was one sentence in where they had to only write the, the verb, wearing a tie. So that's called a glitch. So it's when you don't follow the pattern of the exercise and it has a little mistake on it. And maybe this one has a little mistake. 
if you guys did already, have you done this one already? This exercise, it's five, it's what, it's three. What's this exercise? I forgot that. It's number it's, three. It's section three, the midterm part D. Do you guys, can you open it up and tell me what was your answer there? All of you? Section three, midterm exam, part D. Useful. Did, did. What was your answer? Did you use the collect? Uh, you're talking about number three. Yes. Okay, and what things did you use to collect? You used to like this? Did you use? Did, did you use? Uh huh. Ah, okay. Did you use to collect? No, no, but but, but yeah. you have to write. You have but, you have to write the verb. Did. Not in the past. Correct. This is correct, teacher. Did you use to collect? Yes. And what things did you use to collect? This is correct. Words. There did it you is. Use to collect. Okay. Did you used to collect. Like this? Yes. This is correct. No. Yes. So did you use to collect? Did you use to collect? It's not taking it for me. Did really? you did you use to collect? Are you looking this? at my screen? Okay. But it's not taking it. That's I think I, I I remember that you have to erase the word collect or, or well I don't know. Oh, interesting. So this is a glitch. The answer that you're giving me is correct, but the yeah. tool is not allowing me because of X, Y reason, because I don't have the appropriate spacing or because I don't have a, I don't know, just um, see, somebody's writing to me. Uh -huh. That's what I wrote. Ah, without the symbol, Wilbert? Yes, I have the answer. Uh, without the symbol? Yes. Did you use it to collect? Is the platform is, you see? was okay? Yes, was Fine. okay. That's, thank you, Wilbert. That's a glitch. The answer is correct, but what is the mistake here? Or sorry, what's the glitch here? It's, it's a question. Yeah, need the, so the if it's a question, I need to, and it's telling me to write all this part, I need to write a question mark. This right? question mark is in the, in the exercise. Uh -huh. And since the question mark is in the exercise, but this is what I wanted to come across. Since you guys are studying English, what happens is that sometimes it's going to be confusing because you you think that you have to add the question mark and okay. you're thinking no but it's a question so that's what i was doing i was adding the question mark because mm -hmm. i was thinking as a student say but then i realized like you were doing like wilbur mentioned you have to take away the 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 question mark because it's already there so i have to only write this so that's where tests tend to be tricky sometimes okay, okay. 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 Any other exercise you guys came across that you had this type of glitch and you still have that X, that red X on it? No. No other exercise? No, no that's only. Okay, are you guys in the final exam right now? Yes, I find I finished, yeah. Okay, who has not finished? <laughs> Not finished, teacher. You're not finished? Yes. Yes, finished. Ah, everybody has finished. Hey. Section D. 
3.3 next 3.e yes this one okay if you have quite do you have questions where do you have questions hello where do you guys have questions no. here do you have any other question in this in this exercise in the midterm what about oh, the final no that was a real a really hard exercise well this one no the complete the, the com the whole section. The whole midterm. Difficult. The whole yeah. midterm was difficult. Okay. What about oh, the final? But have you completed all the platform right now? Are you guys completed with all the activities on the platform? Or are you still missing exercises? So we can go yeah. over them. Yes, I'm done with the with the me with the final exam. Okay. Mm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go one by one. Bea, you finished, right? I'm not finished, teacher. Where are you right now? I am in... Give me a second, please. Okay. Guys, remember for those of you who just connected, we have we're gonna be today's our last class, and the idea of today was just to clarify any doubts on the exercise, um, as well to tell you that uh, next week you guys are having vacation. We should be starting or retaking a intermediate two, the second of March or March the second, but this next week. I want you guys to push your HR teams and your um, learning and development teams in your companies and ask them please to send the paperwork, the payroll and you know the form that you have to fill out as soon as possible. Maybe do this tomorrow. That way you guys can be enrolled as soon as possible and that way we can get started uh, you know, on March the 2nd. So the idea is to have just one week of vacation and then start again. Um, that way you guys just don't lose that track of, of intermediate too. But if you guys have any trouble or any questions on, on, the, on how to enroll to intermediate two, I'm going to, at the end of the call, I'm gonna be sending you the contact of the coordinator of English Corporativo. Her name is Gabriela Castillo. And, um, or you could do it through Jonathan. I don't know if Jonathan is the one in charge, but I'm gonna give you the coordinator's uh, phone number, WhatsApp number. That way you can reach out to her, her and let her and ask and you know ask her any type of questions or or how your process is going so far, depending on the company that you work for. Okay. Okay. But try to do it that way. You guys don't lose the track of the group, and then you can continue on the next um, module. Okay. I'm also going to find out if you can actually have, I was talking, telling Wilbert and the rest that you can take both classes uh, online uh, and also classes with the teacher face to face. The idea is for you, the more you are exposed to the language, the better for you. So my idea is if you can take both classes and you're willing to do it, like somebody, like a teacher going to your company or you going to English Corporativos facilities in tor nearby Torre Futura. I mean, it's up to you if you want to do it, if, if you want to spend more time. I have students that have studied both modalities online and also taking classes with the teacher face to face, and they have uh, improved their English in a faster way. Why? Because the more you are in touch with the language, the faster you're going to get the language. Okay. okay. So that's the idea. Okay. Mm -hmm in case you guys are interested. Mm -hmm. 
Any other questions you guys might have right now with the final exam, with the midterm? I don't have a question, but I don't finish yet. Okay. Where are you right now? I am in section four. Where in section four? In point forty four. Four point four. This one. Yes. Remember that you need to have this checks, right? And and check on your progress and make sure that you're all here. Everybody has to be here. Look at me because I haven't done the exercises. I don't do the exercises because I like to use them uh, at the end of the uh, of the, all the sessions with you guys to do it in the moment with you. Um, so you guys should be here already, like 80%, and it will give you here a, a message that you can go ahead and print your, your diploma. And I was telling the rest of the guys, try to get Opalina. That way you can print it in Opalina or in a, you know, that type of paper for diplomas. Because if you print it out in regular paper, it, it's not gonna be part of your, like at the style. So it's better if you print it out like in a diploma kind of paper, okay? That way you keep it with you because remember that Insafor weighs a lot where, where, wherever you go, right? So whenever you have an interview or you wanna, you wanna upload it to LinkedIn so you can have your diploma there and all your, your documents of all the courses you have done, it's good that you have it in, in good quality paper, okay? That's just a suggestion. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions? Oh, you were telling me four point four point section four point four, right? Sequence adverbs. Sequence adverbs. Are you doing it right now? This one? Oh, but for this one you have like first, next, then final. Yes, I I I, I need to see the video. I okay. Need, I need to watch the video. Okay. Okay. What about the final exam, guys? Did you find any questions or did you find it difficult to complete? Or was it more difficult to complete the midterm? Well, I really find harder the final exam. Mm -hmm. The midterm, it was a little bit easier.
what's number one? Did you listen to the audio while I was playing it? Or didn't you listen to it? Did you guys have the opportunity to listen to it? Yes. Yes, I did. When I was playing it? Okay. So what was number one? Listen to the conversations. Okay. Check the correct okay. answers. One. I just love my new apartment. This That's great, one. Jen. What do you like about it? Everything. First of all, it's not as noisy as my old apartment. Yeah, it was pretty noisy. And another thing, it has two bathrooms. My family visits me often, so it'll be more convenient. That's good. And what's the rent like? That's what I like the most. It's not as expensive as my old apartment. I can finally start saving some money. Two. I was late to work. So the first one, is it that there's, there isn't too much noise? I'm sorry, there's too much noise. It has two bedrooms or it's cheaper than her old apartment. It has two bedrooms. That's the correct answer? Yes. Okay, Jen likes her new apartment because it has two bedrooms. Yes, two bedrooms. Okay, what I want to tell you something about this word. Cheaper is not a good word to use in English, okay? It, because it sounds like, um, how do I say it? It sounds like bajero or like bad quality. Or, <laughs> oh, it's cheap. It's como I don't know, like super Economic. bad quality. Economic? But like, no, because cheap. It's economical is a good word. Economic or affordable. Mm. Pero cheap is bad quality. You know, it's not good quality. So it's okay. Not a good word to use in English. People use it, and whenever they refer to it, they refer, you know, despectively. De una manera despectiva. Oh, okay. So try not to use it, right? Like, <laughs> I relate it to this song in Spanish, like, barato, yo tengo un corazón, you know, like, very, <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's, it's funny, but it's I always include some that. senior classes for the next, the next <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually use my example whenever I explain this word I usually use this example with la raza man with the barato because it's, it's you know it's diet it's bad quality it's not good to use or I usually compare it with a purchasing a product that it's not going to last very long for example um I love Dollar City. Dollar City, don't take me wrong. I love Dollar City. It's one of my favorite places to go. But nevertheless, they sell things that, you know, five minutes later, they're not going to be working anymore. So sometimes, or like Grand Dollar, or, you know, those things are, you know, that they're not going to last that long. Then you can see, oh, I bought it very cheap. So it's not the same. So I don't know. It's just it's just me. My my, that's a good example. Do you know I I, I really love those explanations because it it's very contextual and we also have those. Well, I, I don't know how to say this. That difference that difference differentiation of the of the words in what kind mm -hmm. of, of context we have to use them. Exactly. Um, and we use them for, like, people in, for example, Americans use cheap for anything. Oh, that's, oh, it's super cheap. But they don't stop and realize the real context of the word itself, which is that. It's bad quality. It's not good. It's not going to last. So cheap is not good quality. So instead of saying that, you could say, oh, wow, flying to, for example, for tickets. 
flying to Guatemala, it's so affordable now, right? Because there's a there's been an alliance, etc. So it's super affordable. Or it's at a very good price. It's a reasonable price. Or like you were saying, it's a, an economical price, but not cheap. Oh, it's cheap because then it means that you're going to sit down and the seats are going to be all ripped off, you know? Or, you know, it's going to, so that's what it's, they're trying to say, like bad quality, bad service, bad everything. So try to stay away from cheap, okay? It's one of the big no-no words in English. Okay, next one. Again today. There's just too much traffic. I know. And then there are never enough parking spaces. Exactly. I can never find a place to park my car. So, Seth, why don't you move downtown? You could live near your office. I'd like to. The problem is, I really can't afford to live downtown. It's too expensive. But at least you could save some money by walking to work. Three. Okay, so what's the answer? Seth wants to live downtown because it's less expensive. That's a word instead of cheap. He works there or because there are more parking I think it's he works there. Okay, so you there think it's this one? Parking. Yes. There are more parking spaces? No. I think it's he works there. He works there. There, yes. He works there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He works there. Very good. Let's let's go with the next one. Karen's apartment is. Let's check it out. I wish I could find a new apartment. I'm ready for a change. Why, Karen? What's wrong with the place you're living now? Well, it's dingy and cramped. I don't know why I rented it in the first place. I mean, it's very safe and private. I just wish. I'm going to interrupt it. Do you know what dingy is? Ooh. Listen to what? the context. Dingy. Three. I wish I could find a new apartment. I'm ready for a change. Why, Karen? What's wrong with the place you're living now? Well, it's dingy and cramped. Do you know what it is? This Dingy. I don't this know. This word, dingy. 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 Mm -hmm. dingy. What is what it? How can you explain dingy? I don't know. I don't know. Dingy. That's dingy, this one. Oh, this one. Okay. This one. It's dingy apartment. Dingy apartment. It looks. It looks dirty. It looks. Um. That's dingy. It looks old or dirty. Like the walls are dirty, or you know, it's like nobody takes care of it. That's dingy. And dark. It's because whenever an apartment or you know, apartment's like a box, so it's if you imagine it's dirty. It looks dark. Mm -hmm. Usually they use darker then. So this is dingy. Thanks. So that's dingy, like, you know, all old and like that. Wow. If, for example, Kama <laughs> Sofa. <laughs> yeah, it looks super dark and dirty. Kind of like dirty, but dirty because it's been there forever and ever and ever. Super old. That's what it means, okay? I don't know why I rented it in the first place. I mean, it's very safe and private. I just wish it weren't so small. What kind of place are you looking for exactly? Some place that's more spacious, but not too expensive. Good luck. So what's Four. the answer for this one? Uh, Karen's apartment is too small, too spacious, or too private? Too small. Too small. Okay, very good. And last one, number four. Mm -hmm. So, Doug, how do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's great. What do you like about it? Do you remember how dark my old apartment was? Yeah, it was kind of depressing. Well, my new apartment is on the top floor, so it's nice and bright. Is there anything you don't like? 
Some of the apartments on the first floor have a small garden, and I'd like to grow flowers or maybe a few vegetables. So I kind of wish I lived on the first floor. I guess you can't have everything. So what's the answer for the question? Doe wishes his apartment, his new apartment were on the first floor, nice and bright, or not a cramp, not as cramped as his old apartment. First option. On the first floor. First option on the first floor. See, first now floor. what is what's the word cramped? Do you guys know? Do you know what cramped is? This one that I'm highlighting right now? Do you know what that this one is? Cramp. Do you know? Cramped. 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 Do you know? No. Cramped. Taking the bus. Those of you who have taken the bus sometime in their life, somewhere, somehow. Okay, so it's like taking a coaster at six oh. in the morning to go to work. That's cramped. When there's a lot of people and you can barely go inside the bus to actually travel. And it's crowded, it's cramped. So you're like, you no, know, you're like all cramped. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. When a lot of people travel in a coaster or in a bus at six in the morning to their work, and they're even hanging from the doors because there's not enough space inside to be, to actually fit in. So that's cramped. Que van todos apretaditos. That's cramped. Okay. okay. On the floor. Okay. Understood. 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 Okay, very good. Oh, I have a wrong one. Why am I wrong here? Seth wants to live downtown because it's less expensive or there are more parking spaces. So he works there is not correct. Which one is correct then? Well, if it isn't the second one, then it must be the, it has to be the third one because uh, the first one, it doesn't make sense to me. Okay. <laughs> no. It's less expensive then. It's, it's less expensive. I don't remember. No, it's just also wrong. Ooh. Or would it be that I have a glitch? Or it's my tool? What do you guys have in this one, number two? What do you guys have in your exam? Do you have this one? He works there. He works there? Yes. Ah, but I guess because it's a final exam, even if I, because I had it, okay, so that's the tricky part here. Even if I had scored it because I did it here and then I corrected it, it's not going to allow me to change it. I mean, it's not going to give me that point back. So it's always, even if I write or I go back and change it, it's going to keep the, the X or, you know, that I had it as wrong the first time. So it's taking my first response, whether it's correct or not, even if I go back and correct it. Because first time, the first time I wrote, I clicked on it, I clicked there are more parking spaces, I think, right? Or something else. And that's why I had it wrong. So it's not going to take it back. It's not going to take it back. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do this one really quick. I love my neighborhood. It's very safe. Okay. What's inconvenient? Do you guys know what inconvenient is? Related to a neighborhood, related to this context, to a neighborhood. If I live in an inconvenient neighborhood, what does that mean? Because he love he feel uh, safe and 
it's it's similar. It's like saying, talking about neighborhoods, and if you have kids, imagine you lived in a neighborhood where there's a strip club next to your house. Like lips. Imagine you live next oh, to yeah. lips. So that is inconvenient because you have kids and it's not a good example to live next to a to a bar like this one. Okay. Inconven another inconvenient neighborhood would be to live next to a um what's this called? I forgot I just forgot. Oh, for example, to a place where they sell gas. Why is it inconvenient? Because it's very dangerous yes. for the safety of your family, okay? So that is inconvenient when it's not good to live there because of a powerful reason. It can affect your environment, your family, and your surroundings. That is inconvenient in this context, in neighborhoods, okay? Do you live in an inconvenient neighborhood, guys? No? Another inconvenient neighborhood would be to live in front of a garage of a place where they fix like a shop, uh, you know, a shop where they, they uh, paint cars and they spray or they work with, um, with cars like a mechanic garage or a, also a painting garage or a shop, a painting shop or those are inconvenient neighborhoods because of the smell can affect you and your family, for example. Yeah. Next one, I live in a very busy street. I can get a little bit, it can get a little bit. Noise. Excellent, noisy. Noise. It's to have parking space spaces near my apartment. It's dingy, convenient, or comfortable? Convenient. 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 convenient because convenient. inconvenient is the opposite. Uh -huh. Convenient is something positive. Inconvenient is something negative. Mm -hmm. Our house is modern and very bright. It has few. Huge. 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 Check. Check. Huge. 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 Windows. Huge. Stuck? Huge. Very good, very good. Okay. Very good. Safety. Safety. Wow, difficult topic. Not enough and not enough. Help me with this one. Our apartment is too small. There are not enough enough room. Not enough. Not enough. Enough? Not enough rooms. Rooms. Not enough rooms. Very good. People can see into our house. There is not enough, enough privacy. privacy. Enough. Enough. Enough privacy. 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 Uh, privacy. Enough privacy. Very good. My car is too small. It doesn't have enough, enough space. space. Excellent. Enough space. Wow, it's not that difficult, guys. <laughs> We're doing it together, right? <laughs> Next one, as many or as much. My apartment doesn't have? Many windows. Uh, many windows, because many it's window. comfortable. Exactly. And remember, much is not something, it, don't try not to use it as, you know, oh. try to use it, try to use many or a lot, okay? Okay. Our house is, when you're comparing, you use comparatives. Has convenient, has. convenient, has. As convenient as. Very good, as because you're comparing to things. As convenient as. as your apartment. Modern apartments often <laughs> don't have. As much, as much space, space as. As. as much space. Huh. As all runs because you're com contrasting too. Okay. Very good. Excellent. We're almost done. Much is nice. Good. 
I don't like my wishes with wishes. I don't like my new job. I wish it were more fun. It were more fun, it were more fun or it, it was more fun. fun. I were my fun. More fun. I don't like my new job. I wish it. It was. I wish I could find it. It, it is third person. So is it was or where? Where? She, he, was. it is always going to be was. was. The rest are going to be where? Plurals, okay? Okay. And I was, you were, he was, she was, it was, they were, we were. Okay? So it was more fun. I can't find my new cell phone. I wish. I could, I could find it. I could find it. Very good. My boyfriend isn't in good shape. I wish. I wish he, he were in good. He, I wish he were in good, in good shape. He was. He were in good shape. He was in good shape. It's he. He. He was. Person. I wish he was in he good was shape. Okay. In good shape. <gasps> Why do I the have it? This one have a, a, a mistake teacher for the platform. This one. Yes, this, this one because uh, the platform um. Uh, take uh, the first one. The first one, yes. Uh, it were more like, fun. Uh, but yeah, because it was. Yeah, it were. And the number three, he were in good shape. Good shape. Mm -hmm. The last one. Yes. Yeah, that's correct. And then the other one. Yeah, I don't remember how I don't remember how to say this in English, but uh, that was the class to of the of the perfect <laughs> perfect present. Present uh -huh. present. Yeah, the the, the, the uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. So you are saying that when you want to use where with 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 the per, with the pronouns he or she or it, mm -hmm. it's like when you are saying me hubiera gustado or me gustaría, perdón. So it will start. always be. Uh -huh. So he, uh, was or where? my boyfriend, <laughs> well, my girlfriend, <laughs> uh -huh. my girlfriend isn't in good shape. I wish she were in good shape. Okay, porque um, es hubiera. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody else? Why else? I think maybe the the when the the sentence uh, was uh, right maybe the con the context are the other i don't know it's like if yeah if i don't if i don't uh, speak about my my job like uh like a place or like um i don't know like a, a ambient i don't know very good what happens is this what happens is that the keyword here is wish so if you have the word wish it's to the future like like mm -hmm. nicolas was saying so it's like to the future thinking that you know hubiera so if the word wasn't there, if the word wish wasn't there, then 
was would would have been correct but since we're looking towards the future and we're talking about present perfect then we have to use where i wish he were because it's just a supposition in this context it's not we're saying i wish he was we're not talking about the past tense itself we're talking about a supposition to the future i wish he were in a good shape that's the difference between was and were in this precise context well guys i have to let you go it's time for you to go and rest um Again, congratulations. I, I'm super proud of all of you, the ones who have been able to connect throughout all these four weeks of classes, 60 classes we have had. Um, I have a question. Yes, tell me. Are you gonna be with us for the next module? I wish, I don't know yet. I wish, but I wanna tell you a big secret. You guys are my first class um, in this modality, so um you guys are special and you have my number you can always reach out and text me if you need something from my side I'll, I'll always be there okay in case i'm not no longer your teacher it was a pleasure working with you meeting you okay i hope to see you guys someday soon somewhere like hi do you remember me do you you know somewhere <laughs> okay it was a um, pleasure for me and i'm very thankful with you for all likewise. the wisdom Likewise, and and remember, you have my contact, so you guys stick together, continue with the classes. If I'm no longer there, text me, write to me, okay? So you can um, ask me questions and things that you would like to know, and I'll, I'll feel free to, you know, send you guys material and, and things like that. That way I can keep in touch, okay? Thank you, teacher. Okay. I appreciate uh, your help. You're welcome, cocktailers. Have a good night and see you around, okay? Okay, see you around. Okay. Bye, guys. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. See you so You're teacher. welcome. Bye, guys. Arrivederci. Cheers. <laughs> cocktailers. Bye. 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 Bye, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Enjoy. Bye, Bea. Bye, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, Eliezer. Bye, teacher. See you soon. Bye, teacher. Okay. Bye, JC. Okay.